Hello everyone. In last video, we saw how to enable cloud management gateway. Then we installed the SCCM agent on one of our on-premise machines. The SCCM agent got installed and the machine knew where it had to go next time when it is on internet to connect to our SCCM cloud management uh, gateway. If you have existing SCCM client machines running in your environment, so once you set up the cloud management gateway, next time when they get the policy from SCCM, they will get the URL for internet uh, cloud management gateway. But what if you have machines uh, which are at home? Because due to current scenario, most of the users are at home and they do not come to office. You enable cloud management gateway, but there is no way for those machines to get the policy from SCCM to connect to our cloud management gateway. For example, in my case, I have this uh, Windows 10 domain machine, which is currently on internet. And this machine does not have a CCM client on it. Or let's say even if a CCM client was installed, this machine had old policies, which were there before I set the cloud management gateway. So this machine now doesn't have a way to get that new policy and connect to cloud management gateway. One of the ways is to run the CCM setup.exe. We will send the CCM setup.exe to user and ask him to run with the command line, which we specify. For example, in my case, if I run this command CCM setup.exe and CCM hostname, which is the URL for my cloud management point, SMS side code, which is my SMS side code and no CRL check, it will install the client over the internet without the need for this machine to be connected to on-premise and we'll get the policies and start working. This would work if the user has local admin rights on the machine, but that's not the case because users do not have local admin rights on the machine. The other option could be you can have your help desk team call the user, log in with the local admin account on the machine and run this command. The third option is you can have a script created where you specify the local admin username and password when I say the local admin username and password, not a domain ID, but the local admin account on that machine. For example, on this machine, I have a account already, a local admin account called test. So in this demo, we will initiate installation of uh, the client using that test account. So this is uh, my machine now where a normal user has logged in who doesn't have admin rights. We will create a PowerShell script with the password in it in encrypted format and you, know, you will have to send this to user with the ccm setup.exe once they run the powershell script it will install the ccm agent and will directly talk to cloud management gateway the first step in the process would be to save the password for our local admin account as a secured string so once we send the script to user they won't be able to get the password so this is the password for my local admin account and I'm running this command to save this in dollar password variable and get the value for secure string. So once I run this, this is the value which I have to copy in my other script, which we will send to user. So I have copied it here. I'm saving the value in dollar encrypted variable. So my local admin account on the machine is test, which we, I have specified here. And this is the part where we will specify the command. So it would be ccm setup.exe and this would be my ccm host name which is my management point url site code and no serial check so that's all we need to do and i have saved this file client install.ps1 on my c drive in a ccm setup folder so this is my client install.ps1 file i have created another folder called ccm setup under it under which i copied the ccm setup.exe so you need to give these uh, files to user. He will copy on his machine and ask the user to run this. Right click and they can run with PowerShell. And the installation should start in the background. And if we check the log files, the ccm setup.log, we could see that the client installation has started. So currently this machine is on internet with no connectivity to on-premise network. The user who has logged in doesn't have admin rights on the machine and the SCCM client is not installed. So even if you have a CCM client already installed, this script will reinitiate it and make it talk with our cloud management point. So 
so the installation is going on I will pause the video and come back once the installation finishes client has been installed now so let us go to control panel and look for the client so we see configuration manager here actions so it will take some time for this to populate and pull the policies over the internet so let us see the log files see windows ccm logs so it will take some time for it to build all the log files and get all the policies so i'm going to pause the video and come back once it is done client is ready now we could see that it's showing currently internet under action tab all the actions are listed under network we could see the url of our cloud management gateway if we open software center it should show us our apps there the software center is also loading up showing us our apps there so in this video we saw how to install the clients on machines which are at home which are not connected to our internal sccm after we enable the cloud management gateway we can send this script file to them they can copy it in any folder on their machine just they need to make sure that the folder in which they copy the script file should have ccm setup dot folder and under that ccm setup dot exe and they just need to run the powershell command and it will connect their machines to cloud management gateway and we can manage them remotely from sccm I hope you liked uh, this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.